finding an angle measure for a triangle with an extended side. All right, so um, on this one it says find the value of x. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I'm gonna redraw this really crude. We don't really need to redraw them each time. I just wanted to redraw it so I can kind of mess with the drawing over here. Um, all right, so they immediately start showing you some some images over here. Um, so there's actually two different methods for this one that I want to show you. So first, and we've done this a couple of times for this week, all angles in a triangle have to add up to 180 degrees, always. So if I knew all three of these, they'd have to add up to 180 degrees. The other thing is that on this flat line, they also have to add up to 180 degrees. So whatever this one is here, I'm going to put a question mark. So we have 32 plus x plus question mark has to equal 180 degrees, which is what we just talked about. But question mark plus 40, 142 also has to equal 180 degrees. So what I want to do real quick, because um, I want to show you why. What they're having you do is subtract from 180 degrees. Um, so I'm going to move a few things really quick because I didn't, I kind of wrote in my way there. Oop. Whoa. It's a really big eraser. Come back. Okay. I'm just going to move this off to the side instead of closing it each time. All right. So it was 142 plus question mark equals 180 degrees here. All right. So um, what they're having you do is subtract from 180 degrees for 142. So 180 minus 142, whoops, 142 equals 38. So that's how they got the 38 that's in here. They subtracted from 180. Um, and then they added these two together like this. So they have 10, 6, 7 because of the carryover, right? So they have 70 degrees here, and remember, all triangles add up to 180 degrees. So if I am already using 70, then I have 110 left because I subtract straight down. So x has to be 110 degrees. So this is what they're doing. They're first doing 180, and they're doing 180 again. So what I want to show you is the relationship really quick because there, there is a, a specific relationship here that they're not introducing and I would like to introduce it to you. I'm trying to get rid of all this other junk here just so that we don't have a lot of stuff in the way. Come on. Okay, there we go. All right. I'm trying to get rid of my zero on the end there. Oh, there we go. All right. So what I want to do is I want to show you something really quick. So I have these two equations. We know that they both equal 180. So this was 142 plus this question mark has to be 180 degrees because it's a flat line. So if I subtract 142 degrees, I have question mark equals, and this is, um, so we get eight, I need to borrow, I get a three, so I get question mark equals 38. And then with this one, I'm going to subtract 32, and I'm going to subtract x. So I'm going to subtract 32, and then I'm going to subtract x from the end there. So I'm kind of doing it all at the same time. So 32 minus 32 goes away. X minus X goes away. So I have question mark equals, um, let's see, we get, what do we get here? 7, 10, 8, 4, and 1 minus X. And then, Oh, I made that a little harder than I wanted to make it. Darn it. Um, so if I know that, that this is 38 here, I can go 38 equals 140 minus x. And then I can subtract the 148, subtract the 148. And I end up with the 110 negative that they end up with. They're both negative here. So I end up with 110 equals x.
Okay, so what I wanted to show you was a relationship that they're not quite bringing up to you. Um, so if I have 32 plus X plus question mark equals 180, and then I also have question mark plus 142 equals 180, so they both equal 180 degrees. So and I'm going to rewrite my equations here like this, plus equals 180. Well, I also know that this other one, 180, equals 142 plus question mark. So, and I know that looks a little funky, so what I want to do is bring them together. So instead of writing the 180, if they both equal 180, they both actually equal each other, like this. Because this one equals 180, this one equals 180, well, they both equal 180, they must be the same. So what I wanted to do is bring this question mark, and I know I'm using question mark, which is funny, but um, I'm pretending like that's a variable for a moment. Whoa, that was a really ugly line. All right, so now I'm gonna bring 32 plus X, question mark minus question mark, even though it's a question mark, it's still a number, we just don't know what it is, equals 142, question mark minus 40, question mark, sorry, equals again zero. So all we have brought down is 32 plus X equals 142. So what that's the relationship I wanted to show you. You can have these two remote angles will add up to the exterior angle. So that's one of those kind of fun little relationships that you can build if you understand how triangles work and how um, supplementary lines work. So we don't necessarily have to subtract from 180 and then subtract from 180 again. If we know that these two add up to this one out here, we can just subtract the one we have. So I can do one subtraction like this, and I will get 0, 1, 1. I will get the exact same answer that they got by doing two subtraction equations instead of one. So it's just it's a relationship. If you have um, the exterior angle of a triangle, it will add up to the two remote angles. Think of remote like remote on a TV. You don't have to touch the angle, so this, this angle is not touching these two. It's touching this one, so that's not a remote angle. It's not touching these two, so those are called remote angles. Okay, let's go ahead and try this out. I need to plug my computer in while that's loading. Okay. And let's get... I'll erase this. Okay, so if we know that, that the remote angle um, property works, and I have, I don't have the exterior angle now, but I do have the two remote angles inside here. Remember, these two have to add up to that one. We just proved that on that last screen. So if, if we add 100, or sorry, 38 plus 82, we get 10. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, we get 120. X has to be 120. All right, let's try another one. So this time they're giving us the exterior angle, but they're not giving us both the interior. So instead of adding, I added last time because they gave me both the inside remote angles. I need to subtract to see what's left over because these have to add together to get this one. Well, I'm using 81, I have to figure out what's left over. So I'm gonna say 141 minus 81, I get zero, I borrow, I get 14, and then I get six. So X has to be 60 degrees in order for 81 and 60 to add up to 141. All right, let's check it. Yay, all right, one more. Okay, so now again, they're giving me the two inside. So if they're inside together, we add them to figure out what that exterior angle is. So nine, four, one. So it's one, four, nine. I said it backwards when I said it right now. But. All right, there we go. We're all done with that one.